Trichomoniasis is a genitourinary infection caused by the protozoan parasite Trichomonas vaginalis. It is the most common non-viral sexually transmitted infection and is more common in females than in men. Women with trichomoniasis usually present with smelly, yellow, greenish uh, discharge, with pain during intercourse, some vaginal itching, and uh, urinary tract infection symptoms. Men may be asymptomatic, no symptoms, but can present with penile discharge, testicular pain, as well as urinary tract infection symptoms as well. Trichomoniasis can increase the risk of adverse pregnancy outcomes, pelvic inflammatory disease, and HIV uh, acquisition. Now, Trichomonas vaginalis that causes trichomoniasis is a flagellated protozoan. Flagellated means that the organism has one or more whip-like hairs that help them with movement. They are protozoan, uh, given that they are a single-celled uh, parasite. The parasite is a pear or round-shaped organism with four anterior flagella. They have undulating membrane that causes the characteristic motility seen on a, a slide if you look at it through a microscope. Being a parasite, um, Trichomonas vaginalis, it cannot survive without another organism, and the humans are its only natural host. Trichomonas vaginalis is transmitted during sexual intercourse, where it infects the squamous epithelium in the vagina and the urethra. The incubation period is between 5 to 28 days, and this is the period where it doesn't really have to cause any sort of symptom. Once inside the epithelial lumen, so once they're inside the vagina and the urethra, the organism replicates by binary fission which is a asexual reproduction. Trichomonas vaginalis damages the urogenital epithelium with its surface proteins that can cause micro ulcerations. During this infection, the vaginal pH, so the acidity, may also um, uh, increase. So the pH increases so it becomes less acidic. The environment becomes less acidic. And so coexistence of Trichomonas vaginalis and bacterial vaginosis is common. Bacterial vaginosis is discussed in a completely separate video. Let's focus on Trichomonas vaginalis. Now, the specific virulent factors of Trichomonas vaginalis and the body's immune response it's not actually well understood, but we know that it causes this response in the vagina, in the urethra, and causes the characteristic symptoms that we will discuss now. Some women, but majority of men, infected with Trichomonas vaginalis are asymptomatic. They have no symptoms. Symptoms in women when they do develop include a foul, smelling, frothy, yellow-green, perlin discharge. They can have burning or itching around the genitals, pain during urination, dysuria, and pain during intercourse, dyspyrunia. If they're examined, the cervix has a characteristic strawberry cervix appearance, where the cervix has a erythematous mucosa with petechiae. Symptoms in men include penile discharge, testicular pain, and pain during urination and uh, they can develop urinary frequency as well. So really, urinary tract infection-like symptoms. The risk factors for trichomonas vaginalis or trichomoniasis are really um, being female because women are more likely to be infected for start. Unprotected sex, so not using a condom, for example. Contact with an infected partner as well as having new or multiple sexual partners. Complications of Trichomonas vaginalis um, include developing lesions on the vaginal wall, known as vaginitis emphysematosa, 
and increased risk of premature labor and pregnancy, which is having a childbirth before 37 weeks, as well as having a low birth weight for a newborn, less than 2.5 kilograms. Infection with Trichomonas vaginalis can also increase the risk of developing pelvic inflammatory disease and having other sexual transmitted infections such as HIV. The differential diagnosis for trichomoniasis, really anyone with a vaginal discharge that, that is odorous, for example, you've got to think about other causes of vaginal discharge, including bacterial vaginosis, candidiasis, as well as other sexual transmitted infection caused by other bacteria, such as gonorrhea and chlamydia. In males, symptoms of urethral inflammation, so pain when peeing, could be caused by other sexual transmitted infections, such as chlamydia, gonorrhea, as well as mycoplasma genitalia. To investigate and to diagnose trichomoniasis, a nucleic acid amplification test is gold standard. Otherwise, microscopy of the vaginal discharge can show motile organisms when you look at it through a microscope and also you can also culture the vaginal discharge to see if there's any of these organisms that grow. The vaginal pH when inspected is usually more than 4.5 in a trichomoniasis infection, so similar to that of bacterial vaginosis. Treatment of trichomoniasis include antibiotics an oral tablet of metronidazole or tinidazole as a single dose is used. Current sexual partners should be also treated. People with known HIV infections are usually treated with a, a longer duration of antibiotics. People who are sexually active can take steps to protect themselves from trichomoniasis and these include using contraception, barrier contraception such as condoms, Routine testing for sexual transmitted infections, um, including trichomoniasis. So in summary, trichomoniasis is a genitourinary infection with the flagellated protozoan trichomonas vaginalis. It is the most common non-viral sexually transmitted infection and it affects women more than men. Women with trichomoniasis usually present with smelly yellow-green discharge, and men could also present with similar, however, are often asymptomatic. It is important to identify the organism uh, and treat it.